Uh, so we just stopped at a rest stop um, on the way to San Francisco, and uh, I did not expect to find this giant statue above the hill, above the restroom. Uh, it's Father Junipero Serra pointing at California. Weird. So it's a little overgrown up here. We've got fennel. Fennel growing here, and weeds, and really pretty purple flowers I've never seen before. Look at those. But I wonder why nobody's taking care of this up here. It's very strange. How weird is this? And all of a sudden, that! <laughs> Just weird. So it's a little noisy out here, but hopefully you can hear me. So here's this giant statue, and this valley is actually the famous San Andreas Fault. So that's what he's pointing at, if you're pointing down at the San Andreas Fault, this little valley. Okay, so I was looking at this line before that was down here in the rest stop area, and I was wondering why it was here. And now I understand it's a representation of the San Andreas Fault. But if you look, there is no markings about the entrance to that little park area. Interesting. So for those who don't remember payphones, there's even instructions on how to use the TTY. And over here, no phones. So sad. If you want a free call. When somebody has a gardener and somebody doesn't have a gardener. Gardener, no gardener. Never the two shall meet. Santa la Pink house. Pink house. When you're coming into San Francisco. Uloa. Alright, so we're going to brunch with some new friends. And we're going to Chinese food in... Are we still in the city? I don't even know. Sort of. Okay. Wonder what's Saeed? Saeed.
So we were just finding a parking place. We discovered this little park. Our car is right over there. Just amazing birds and everything. Look at the calla lilies. An airplane. But it's like this ravine. I wonder what that is. Kind of a rail. That looks like a stage. It does look like a stage. It's an amphitheater. There's a little theater. Interesting. Anyway, I am just loving the birds. Ooh. Is that hiding? It's like perfect lighting here. That's the nasturtium, those are edible. Stations. Fuzzies. Tana switch. When was the last time you saw one of those? Is it still connected? Looks like it. How do you even activate it then? There's a switch right there. Looks like it doesn't even look. No. There's probably, looks like there was some kind of glass. Break glass, yeah, see? Pull hook. Like you don't see these anymore. Exactly. That's why I wanted a picture. And then the beautiful house over there. The park. Thought it was interesting. This one's for sale across the street from the park, 1.7 million. And this one looks like it hasn't been touched in years. I don't think anybody's lived in this one for a long time. What's the sign say? First notice complaint. Failure to comply vacant or abandoned building ordinance. Huh. All right, you guys. We are here at the Riverside Seafood Restaurant in San Francisco at Vicente and 23rd. Kind of excited to try something new, meeting some new friends. Let's go check it out. So I always find it interesting to look at the bathrooms when you come to a restaurant because I think it's indicative of the um, kitchen cleanliness. So let's take a peek. So we'll start over here at the sink and then it gets a little dicey. Wash your hands in Chinese. Support your local bike club. And then I notice this tile which just look white. But if you look them in the reflection, you can see that they actually characters in them, which is interesting. And there's these little village things. Village thing. You can tell they've been wiped a hundred times to clean them. Because you can see that this one, it's got gold etching. This is actually gold etching. And then we look at the door. Oh, scare me. <laughs> scary door. And then I look at this. It's scary.
Okay, we're here with Dave and Bill at the Riverside Seafood Restaurant. And uh, with food has started to come, this is a taro something something fried, not focusing. There we go. And a pork bun. I'll show you throughout. Good. It's like tofu nuggets. Mm -hmm. Sure. We, we were, for it. We were big. <laughs> it's okay. What is this sauce? That's mayo, I mayonnaise. think. Yeah. Interesting. So this is something special. This is pan-fried rice noodles with what beef? Just, Just beef? beef. Yeah. With beef. So it's kind of made upside down so it stays crispy. And then we have a green something. Mochi balls. Mochi balls. This looks so incredibly good. They look like an alien. Right. <laughs> there seems to be a theme here. Maybe you're an alienologist. Oh, exactly. It's like a pot pie. <laughs> yeah, it's like a rice noodle pot pie. Oh, look at that. Thanks, Dave. Mm -hmm. You make a good mother. And it oh, just keeps good. coming. Yeah. Steamed buns, chicken wings. Mochi and of course the the pot the pie something something. <laughs> That's what you meant. I'm like. Alright, so man mango pudding with evaporated milk. Give it a give it a cut. Oh yeah, you got it. Oh, oh there oh, you go. Look at that. Look at that. It's surfacing. <laughs> this is the place of alien food. All the aliens are hiding. And nice. Did these have a name? Just donuts. Oh, those look amazing. Yeah, that the inside almost turns into a custard. Yeah. So that was called the sweet egg flour ball puffs. Okay. Super steamy buns. What's going on over here? It's an upper driver. It's an upper driver. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so we ate at the River Seafood restaurant here in San Francisco, and it was delicious. Definitely would come back again. Would recommend it for people to come here. Had some great dishes I never had before. And other than Bill, I was the only Caucasian guy in there, so that's a good sign that it's a good Chinese place that people like to go. All right, more adventure. And uh, yeah, it's also raining now, too. I feel like a Jedi. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Wait, I am the Obi Wan Kenobi. It's a quiet rain. Nice house. It's a nice Audi. Tiny Audi. Tiny Audi. There's a lot of sold houses down here. On Wawona. Yeah, the birds are still at it too. Got the water running. And here's the house of derelictness. Hide the body. Cat lady. Getting eat by a cat. A nice house next door. Whoa, whoa, nah. It's a nice sound. Hi, Cooter. Oh. Are you hood the hooded? Hoot for hood only. Hoot for hood.
Golden Gate Park in the rain. That's rain. It's like real rain. So Cooter can see the famous houses, but there's some event going on. There's fencing and all kinds of stuff. Go towards the light post. And stop. Just because I thought this was a really cool looking fire department. Sexy and shit. Alright, so we are in Japantown, and we just parked the car down over there, and I don't know exactly what we're going to see, just having an adventure, going into the mall, somebody wants Pucky, Pucky, and uh, yeah, just getting out of the rain, and hopefully not dying as we cross over everything here, to hear the Japanese parking music and now we're going into the yellow room here. Ooh, where are we? Main entrance, you are here, where are we? You are here, we are here. We are here. Okay. Sorry, gotta get in the elevator. And we just came out from the elevator, and there's everything. Oh, adventure! Oh, look at this over here. Where we need to be. Look over here. Oh, all the food. Sakaya. Mitsuo. What is Mitsuo? Uh, it's a restaurant. Remember, I took you to the one in OC. Oh, yeah. Alright. Moving on. Where are we going? What'd you find? Totoro. Totoro. Totoro desu ka? So we're gonna venture into the adult only area. Just cause we're curious. Oh, sailor. Oh, sailor. This is just a reaction film. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> oh. Um, we won't be showing this on YouTube, but um, it's all anime porn. Oh. Somebody's excited because they found a Dance Dance Revolution. Do I need to get a card or something? I don't know. Do you? Pockets. <laughs> How crazy are you gonna get? <laughs> I need to reduce all this. I don't know any of these songs. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. 
audience. Oh, you have an audience. <laughs> what? Cooter. <laughs> So this is Playland Japan. It's really loud in there for me, but Cooter's having a great time, so why can't I complain? He's having fun. A workout? <laughs> Possessive? Necessary things in my life. Is that me? Yes. Am I the grumpy owl? Yes. Why does she look like Agent Martha Stewart? Normal. 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 Defying gravity. Defying gravity. So we are at Cafe Hana. Cafe Hana. Jordan's in line and I got us a table. It's a little crowded. You're all matchy matchy. Or is it matcha matcha? Matcha matcha matchy matchy. Looks good. And I got the, what is this, what is this one called? That's a uh, matcha latte. latte. What'd you get? I got a matcha honey tea. Matcha honey tea. You're a matcha honey tea. Okay. I'll 
got a matcha latte. Thanks, Cooter. You're welcome. Oh. Still warm. It's very matcha. Matcha, matcha. Damn. So I'm gonna to totally have to learn to make this one. It's got the like Korean citrus jam in it, and it is amazing. Are you inspired? Pagoda. Uh, grocery store. Now we're in the East Mall. East Mall. Did you want to go in there? Looks like a cosmetic store. So we're in the equivalent of a dollar store. It says most things, everything, a dollar fifty. But it has the creepiest lighting ever in here. You can get four cocoon balls. I don't know what you need a cocoon ball for, but owl. cocoon ball. Is that an owl eyebrow? Owl eyebrow. We Do you need some uh, chair socks? Put your finger in there. They blocked it off. These are kind of creepy. Oh, here's big ones. Big chair covers with cats. Oh, what's this one? <laughs> Albino animals. Only a dollar fifty. Get your T-Rex or your ostrich or your horsehead pen. Oh, cooter. What's that? Owl. Or a monkey. With a hat. Or a skull. Or a wolf. Oh, there's another owl. It's the same one. Or a robot. Or Anubis. Or a really tall Eiffel Tower. Do you need a cappuccino shake candy? Oh, almost. Almost like. What, 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 what? Oh, uh, cocochinos. Oh, more accurate. Oh, nice. <laughs> What's up with these? Ding candies from Midge. Oh, they're Midge. Oh, you want some? Do you want Midge? All the snacks. All the high chews. High chews. High chews you. All the snacks. All the snacks. Oh, you could go pocky crazy. Okay, I found the part that scares me. Cheese uh, in the bag. 53%. 53% what? 53% cheese. I don't know. Alright, so Cooter saw this. And just darted in line because he saw matcha ice cream. I think somebody just burnt them because they all went in the trash. So Cooter wants to get this, the Takiyaki Kun, just in the shape of a fish. So waffle cooking it back there. Matcha. You get whatever you want. I'm getting the fish. Pick up to two. Please spit in my cup. Enter your name. Cooter. Cooter.
There you go. <laughs> have you seen him? Now you have. So what did he say when you picked it up? Did I pronounce it right? Cooter, your ice cream is ready. It's a fish. That's, that's great. Let me get a picture. Close it close. Uh, this is my color too. Yeah, that's the color of the day, isn't it? Yeah, so he did order it under that name. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right, hold this so I can, I can take a bite on camera. All right, watch this. Given the official test. Mm. That's nice. It's nice. It's just Nutella on the inside. <laughs> Prolapse. Cafe Matcha Latte. Matcha Latte. Matcha Latte. And the coffee. Alright, we're in Ichiban Kan. Why? Because you're Ichiban Kan. And there's the little cookies. Coco Baby. So much stuff. Major. Mmm, look. Not a dollar fifty plus. Hachu. Okay, I think I'm burnt out on little kids' toys and noisy things and little tiny plastic containers and. Yeah. Are we done? I think we saw it all. Dish, 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 dish. Spreading the dish, that's a lot of dish. Okay, we enjoyed our time in Japan Town. Got some goodies. Somebody bought a bunch of pocket? Okay. It's still raining. Heading to the car. So we're in the mission and it's still raining. Raining. Obi-Wan Kenobi. And uh, we're going to there, and we've got to park there. Hello, that's exciting. All right, we're in the mission looking for some fun. Right here. All right, so we just. We just ordered six tacos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tacos. Craziness. We're here in this place. It looks delicious. What's this place called? We're very excited to get some tacos. It's very happening here. Okay, so we just come into La Coronata and it is happening in here. We just ordered six tacos and so they're cooking it back over here. But it's got a it's got an atmosphere going on in here. It's really nice. So let's get over there. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest tonight with our dinner. So not only do we have our table with our Mexa 7 up, but we also have Mary. Dining with Mary. This place is happening. It's kind of exciting. It's rainy outside, but it's pretty fun on the inside. Nothing says the kickoff of a meal like some chips and salsa. Oh, look at that salsa. Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh. A seven Up and Coke Zero. Coke Zero. Alright, so apparently we're just dining around the world today. So we got six tacos, three of each. Three of each. Three of each taco. Seven up de Mexico. Excited? 
It tastes it tastes different. It tastes like my childhood. It tastes like before HFC. Uh -huh. Alright. Let's dine with Mary. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna taste this with taco beard is not good, so let's just try it little bites. With the barbacoa. I feel like I'm at Disneyland here. It's like. Oh, Alright, time to eat. So you can see we, um, yeah, it was terrible. All right, here it is, the Coronetta. So we uh, give it two thumbs up, really good. Oh, there's my food. Get in there. Look, three raccoons. Just beautiful fish. It's a little dark. Your oh! Am I glowing? Here, give me. Am I fluorescent? Put, put that down. What? Am I fluorescent? Uh, okay, if you say so. I don't think we could have parked 
any closer unless you parked there. You see? Clean, shiny artwork. Plants. Clean. Imagine that we're at another restaurant. Um, it's red on my face because of the lighting. We are at a place called the Spice Jar. What neighborhood is this called? Still Mission? Okay. Still in the Mission District. But, um, yeah. Okay. There we go. It's called the Spice Jar. Still raining outside. It's like 7.30 at night. We've got Café du Monde coffee, beignet, and this is the menu. We got ramen and beans and all kinds of stuff. So, so we're gonna go for the chicken karagi the pork belly bao, the lettuce cup, and the fried rice since it has their spice jar name on it. Boom. Loving the atmosphere here. It's almost kind of like Portland. It's a little bit dark and rainy and nice. I got the Vietnamese coffee. It looks pretty good. Yeah, that's a very pretty looking coffee. <laughs> with the, with the Drink it. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's nice. Alright, so we got our lettuce wraps and we got our bao. Bao. Bao dao. Chicken karage. Where does it go? And because we haven't had enough food today, we're going to Humphreys Slocum. Ice cream. I love Fatal Kitchen. Fatal Kitten. Caution, I'm broken. Caution. We have the 10-room Sunday. Lick that. Secret breakfast. Cooter is getting the secret breakfast. I am getting the salted Caramel coconut. So. Look at these tiny chairs. Tiny chairs. Here's my tiny scoop. Alright, going for a taste here. I haven't tried this yet. That is caramelly and potent. Very nice. In case you're wondering, it is 11.18 p.m. and we are finally driving home in the rain. Yes, it is the end of May and it is still raining. It's weird. Anyway, um, that might be all for tonight, but uh, we had a great day and uh, yeah, we've got an hour to go and we hope.